Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. It's time for a little side excursion at Amino Zoo. While adrenaline's not an amino acid, it is derived from tyrosine, and I bet we're gonna see some thrill seekers on those power lines. If there's a key to understanding the behavior of amino acids in different environmental conditions, I'd venture to say that the jungle might have some little known secrets. Okay, well, I can't handle the suspense, so let's jump right in, like these cute amphibians. These frogs will remind us that amino acids are amphoteric, meaning that depending on the environmental conditions, they will behave as either a bronsted Lowry acid or a bronsted Lowry base. Also, keep in mind that it's the structure of an amino acid that will determine how strongly their carboxyl groups will hold protons or how readily their amino groups will accept protons. Amino acids with more electronegative groups on their side chains, like aspartic acid, will readily give up their protons, while amino acids such as lysine will freely accept protons to help delocalize charge on their amino group. In a solution of a low pH, that is, a high concentration of surrounding hydrogen ions, amino acids behave as bronsted Lowry bases, accepting protons on their amino ends. That's why the kid at the bottom is next to so many H helmets, which represent protons. And he doesn't want to lose that helmet, so he's holding on tightly. Safety first. In contrast, in a basic solution, or a high pH, the amino acids will behave as bronsted Lowry acids, donating the protons from their carboxyl sites. So that's why the box of helmets at the top is nearly empty. At a higher pH, amino acids can't help but to give their protons away. I'm pretty sure that's a safety violation, but maybe there's just enough for a few brave zipliners.